Okay, welcome back to Phoenix Point. I'm about to rescue Sinedrian's ass, uh, but before I started the video, I started looking around. I think what I might do is demolish this and demolish this. All I really needed this for was the scan area. So I could turn Phoenix Point back into my training facility. Um, slash, uh, med bay, slash, oh, wait, oh, living quarters, there, I do have it, all right, <laughs> wonderful, um, I don't have time to wait for the other scorcher, and I didn't have time to go over and grab my sniper, but that's okay, I think we can handle this. Hopefully I can find the one extra guy to help me, but more than anything, I would love to get these materials. Okay, starting off strong with the siren. Ooh, look at all these guys already. Moving to coordinates. Oh, and there's a sniper. Problem here is if one of these missiles lands off the map doesn't blow up even if it lands like right here. Hmm, not spotting anyone else. Someone there, though. <laughs> Ready, willing, and able. Can't get vision. Not sure I want to bother throwing it over there. I'd rather protect the civilians. Here I am. Let's do this. Oh boy. Well, that ain't great. Can't wait. 
wait. I'm prepared. Ready to engage. Mm, I don't want her using psychic scream. I could either run away or try and take out her head hostile injured but alive for now ah crap there isn't really a good way I have to run up through the bottom instead of flying over there Already there. Oh, boy. Might just need to take another hit from that siren on the scarab. Always just hey. let her bleed out. Oh wait, no. No, I can't do that. So I can't hit you from here. This is just bad positioning. Um, poison worms. Wish civilians could get other civilians. Ready, willing, and able. Uh, reduce the will points. How much does it reduce the will points? That's what I can't remember. I mean, he might be able to take the hit. Well, I could take the risk that she's willing to just... run up and hit him. Movement of 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so... Since her leg is messed up, she won't be able to reach that far and hit him. question is, can I deal with him being out of commission for a turn? Probably not. Couple hits. Yeah, run away, run away from those things. There we go, get in the fight. Calculate 
calculating trajectories. Oh shit. Damn your stealth, I didn't see you up there. Oh yeah. Make sure there's not a roof there. She could just run these guys over. this guy down. Well, I messed up the building, but I didn't uh, knock you off. Wanted to apply some fall damage. different spot next turn.
believe all those civilians started so close. to coordinates. in a place where I can see this guy. Maybe. Of course not. All I need is a clear shot. Enemy down. was a bad shot. Maybe I can block it with the scarab. Although when it blows up, probably still hit him. Well, whatever, bro. Sorry, you're not, uh... Not that important to me. before I kill it. Didn't this, uh, didn't these arms used to have a melee? Ooh, electric strike. Oh, that's right, it doesn't take action points.
Oh, but all it does is daze. You used to be able to, like, infinitely kill guys if you got next to them. Really, I just need to avoid the poison for him. Four will points. This could be bad, though. I'll be right there. So, we'll handle it like this instead. Run away from the worms. They won't hurt my own guys, because they're all mind controlled. Although shit, he's gonna destroy his, that turret, isn't he? Gotta be quick. Zooming in. Now, I wonder... So the crossbow... Uh, crossbow spider... This not, must not be a high enough uh, infiltrator because I was hoping maybe if I shot him in the back it would daze him. But that doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh, that's right. I forgot he was going to bleed out. Oh, God. No. You are going to bleed. They're not able to poison him, though. Can't get through the armor. Man, he is getting messed up <laughs> by that return fire. That's our move. Let's go. Right there. choice but to keep going. Quickly! I need an angle. Need a better position. We pretty much have this wrapped up. I 
blow up on that, not get anything. Here. Did I seriously miss? I need an angle. That should have gone better. Oh, that's a strong chair. Standing by, zooming in. Attack successful. Okay, we did it. Excellent. Team two. Ready for prime time. At least for like defenses and things like that. And maybe I could trade up for an armadillo. Plus 10 for that. Damn. It's six hundred and seventy five. Seems like a big commitment. For just like not a lot of return. Okay, so you guys can go over here, pick up your last member, then you can start doing exploring. I probably can't do big things like lairs with this team, but I might want to think about starting to do the ancients, getting the ancient weapons and stuff too. more out of the Chiron autopsy. Okay, so I could do two. Let's do that mission with this side crew. Scorcher is complete. Having two of those is going to make a huge difference. So now I think I can start working on armor for everybody. Think about augmenting to twelve 
accuracy. It's only 16 armor, though. Protecting the head. Something that I think is interesting, too, is the neural torso is what gives you heavy lifter. But the juggernaut torso does not, even though it's, like, so freaking heavy. And it gives you demolition state, but I don't know. It just makes more sense to me to put heavy lifter on this. I mean, I know it's, like, a super heavy thing already, but... Whatever. I'm mostly, I mostly tend to be just interested in the clarity head, just so I don't have to worry about mind control. Like that can be such a pain in the ass. I do like propeller legs. The plus three to speed but still 20 armor, that's very useful. Well, I'll have to think about it, but I'm going to end this video here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.